what is happening y'all welcome on back so let's go on through uh, as I mentioned this guy gave me a quest the quest happened uh, on the sponsored episode though and it's funny I haven't even like gotten approval on that episode but if they're like oh you know could you go back and redo Kaled I'm gonna be like yeah about that um, they look done. Don't test me, dog. I mean, honestly, it's it's rough for PVE, but for PVP, people are gonna be like, "Whoa, get away from me!" You found the unalloyed gold needle. Yes, I did. As promised, I've detailed the secret of Celia right here. Go on. Now, let me have a look at the needle. Hmm. Hmm. Well, well, this is a marvel indeed. The work of a true artisan. A meticulous. Can you give me some time with this? As well made as it is, Seba. Can you give me as well? Oh, sure, buddy. The town of Selena hides the source. Light three flames atop the candle towers to break the seal. I mean, to be honest, I probably would have done that anyway that's just that's just natural souls oh hey there's things that I can light oh yeah all right, let me get all these anyway let's do it let's do it I think I actually have one of the yeah I have one already but that was from a uh, alternate route I need to actually comb over this area properly Last time I was here was when I ran for my life out of that cavern. You know, if you were to come to Kaled and you were to only hit like the ruins and then go to this town, you'd actually be in pretty good shape, it seems. Because from what I'm seeing so far, the levels of the stuff and 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 you know the stuff in this town. These things are not bad at all. These are I mean these are literally uh, the same enemies from. Uh, I keep forgetting what it's called. Lunaria. Lee Ernia. Lee 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 Lee. The Ernia. Yeah, anyway, these are just the Twin Sages from Lyernia. Set your ass down. Climb right back up. Oh, that's the Liernia thing. I forget I'd go inside. Does increase my damage very slightly. Uh, jump attacks, I guess. I don't know. No, you know what? Let's just let's just put the stamina one on. Stamina is always good.
And while it's not a ton, there are some areas where, um... Thing up the top. So it's looking at broken arcways and castle Radon. So it's looking out that way. Take the tree up there for a bell tower. I come here during the day. Are these dudes just out so I can kill them? Get out. Climb on the tree. Let me follow the tree. On top of this building. Get on top of this building. I need to walk across that buttress. So I gotta get on top of there. Top of there. Just the whole. That's probably the seal he was talking about. Light the towers. Uh oh. Somebody got backstabbed. Lots of little things up top. Gonna learn this lesson, old man. Um, this is also locked, but a good golden seed. Right, so this is probably just to get up here. Staff of loss. There's that thing. It keeps making noise. Should not have more poise than me. Noxious little buggers. Just do this. Well, it's weird. My whole screen blacked out for a second. I don't know if that affected the game. No, the recording looks like it's stable. I don't know what that was. Yeah. Everything looks plugged in properly. Huh. Weird. Really weird. 
At this point, nothing surprises me. There's just, there's been a lot of PC bugs. And it hurts, because... Stop it, go away. Oleg, you wanna keep up, bro? Summoned Oleg thinking he would, you know, do something instead he's just like, I am here for you. In the fourth night of the battle, when our enemies stand by- Oh my, there's another one. Like, dude's busy giving a speech. Meanwhile, I've fought most of the army and killed them all. Like, thanks for the assist, guy. It sure would have been nice if, uh... Did more fighting and less talking and drawing your swords. I think you can follow me up here. Alright. I want to get up to you. Alright, there. Up here. Probably jump across to. Love that. We went up there. Cool, teleported you up here. Um, mm, I don't, that jump's questionable at best. It's kind of questionable now too. Well, hang on. Not questionable for Torrent. Ooh, we can use that. Please, damn. I can't, I can't fucking dismount? Like, what's wrong with you? Alrighty. There's one. Light the candle. Light the flame. Torrent if I need it. I will say, doing uh, Oleg over Pumpkinhead was definitely the right choice, because Pumpkinhead's whole, I'm getting low and I have to despawn. Not a fan of that. And it might have just been that he was blinking because his health was low, because that also happened to the, uh, the Sorceress Lady, but... Hard to say for certain. Alright, so this one... Where's the third? So three lights. That's tower. Is that it? That's it over there. Alright, uh, loots to get over there, and a loot over there. We'll get this one first.
Or are the seals breaking one by one? Unless there's something separate for getting all three. Yeah, so shit here just respawns. One, let's see. Isn't one of the seals, like, as soon as we were in the city? Or are they tied to buildings in particular? Because here's one building. No, that's all sealed up nice and tight. Um, another building we got was, like, right... Right by the, uh... Because there's this one still sealed. Where's that damn bonfire at? Yes. Must have been the seal. The seals are opening up areas for you to get treasure chests. So we picked up Night Comet and we picked up Spell Drake plus one. Um, let me. Because this city is pretty hard to spot shit in. Let me find the third, the third sealed door. Oh no, hang on. Mute sword key, I can also use that. Okay, so that is connected to this building. Uh, what about over here? Oh, well, let's just get the third one. I was gonna say, it's, it's possible that uh, the spell Drake plus one was probably always there. I just had to. It's nice just letting Oleg take care of all these shitty underlings. Deal was broken in town, that big gate. I'm gonna do one quick loop through the town, seeing if there are any other things that have opened up. So there's that chest in the middle of town. I remember you. There's the one at the back that I got. I thought there was one like at the very start, like when I first really came in, you know? The gate, right? Yeah. I think there was like, yeah, like right here. No, not right there. That building is lit. Is it over here? I think I came in and I went this way. It's probably just the thing that lets me proceed. Because I got three things. I mean, I got an Abid Sword Key, some Sorcery, and then a Talisman. Probably this, because this was sealed. Oh, we have a boss. Oh, wait. Oh, Oleg vanished. Well, damn. That's actually impressive. Like, Pumpkinhead vanished in, in what? Fucking... Minute? Oleg out here like, Hey, man, don't worry. I'm gonna hang out for a whole five minutes while you run around this dookie town. And then, you know, Oleg being the MVP he is, was like, you know what? You probably want to, like, 
rest up before you you go in. So I you know I get it. Go go do your thing and then summon me for the boss fight. Okay. Sit your ass down. The Nox Flowing Sword. Ooh, sounds so edgy. Curved Sword. Grim weapon wielded by swordsmen of the Eternal City. Shuttle is a blade as fine as a needle. Flowing form. Transforms armament into its liquid form. Swing the armament like a whip to perform sweeping slice over a wide area. Strength Dex. Let's try it out. Sounds cool. I wonder if it has your good old shield piercing capabilities that the shoulder usually has. I mean that whip, that whip honestly it looks like it would it would be too slow to be useful. Like it just looks like you'd use it and it's just be like, people will be like, ah, uh, I'm just gonna back up a little bit. Windstone staff. I'll tell you what, man, sorcery build. Come here. <laughs> You'll get all kinds of goodies. Uh, let's see. No, don't care about you or you. Staff missing its glintstone. Hmm. Invisibility sorceries, but that is enough reason some come to wield it. Boosts invisibility sorcery. Uh, it, it enhances power, but consumes additional FP. All right. Well, we've knocked out that. So, and the crystal tunnel, I have to find a back entrance to that. I mean, I guess I could go in there. Let's see how we had on time. Yeah, why not? Let's, let's go into the crystal tunnel and see if I, it, it's very possible that, you know, my first time there was chaotic and I was like, I don't want to be here. I don't belong. Please bad, please please hurts. I wanna say I explored it though, because I think I like went back in and did like a suicide run past enemies. And like, okay, I'm looking here, looking here, looking here, looking here. Nope, nothing, gotta go. Jump attack required ahead. Is a bitch, ain't it? This dude's abused. Abused level fifteen, me. This is how you get across. This is how you proceed. Huh. Just, Ow! Stop that, you dick. Like silkworms. Ah, shit. We missed it. And I... Yeah, when I was here before... I was... Oh, you gotta fucking stop, dude. Yeah, but when I came here initially, 
those things, like that little spray webbing, whatever that guy was just doing, that was doing massive, massive amounts of my health. Uh. No, damn it. Looks like I can get it from up there. I probably gotta come back around and get this later. Get it later. I keep messing around. I'm gonna end up stuck behind a wall or something. Asshole. You want to do that shit? Right, let me take care of you first. Let's see which one of us gives up first. Oh, looks like it's you. We'll knock this place out this episode. I thought it was a lot longer than this. There's also a big difference between... Um oh, fuck you, game. A uh, big difference between my understanding of the scale of these caves now versus when I, you know, had just started the game. So I just started. I, I came in here and I was like, oh my god, so... Uh, stuff's trying to kill me. Oh, I don't like it. All that for some freaking cuckoo glintstones. I will say my my expectations for this zone were it was very deceptive like I have dreaded coming here for uh, for quite a few episodes mainly because you know I had that that brief wander into the area on the sponsored episode and you know, the main, the main stuff, like, I, because I was basically, like, alright, we're just gonna, you know, the whole, the whole point of the video was to just take, like, a look at the area, so, as opposed to being like, alright, let's go hit up, you know, we'll go do this tower, we'll go do this, I was like, alright, well, let's, let's actually look around, and looking around Kaelid ends up introducing you to things like giant dog and giant bird, which are both devastatingly strong and not indicative of most of the enemies in this area. I mean, sure, the bosses, but, like, those dudes aren't bad at all. Thought she was slick. Most of the stuff, I mean, besides, let me think, besides the, uh, can I get a backstab on these things? The centipedes aren't bad. Faithful's canvas tent, that's the... Is potency of incantations. 
Ah, uh, yes, that sounds very good for me. I'll need to find something to test it on, but I mean, yeah, incantations, let's go. Yeah, I mean, these guys aren't bad. The birds, the dogs are the two, like, these are an actual threat. Um, besides that, like, the night dudes here are easy, these things are easy. The sorcery stuff's obviously easy. Let's see, another... Tried to wombo combo me. Wombo combo these nuts. See, to do that, you need to use the tongue uh, while simultaneously sucking on the balls. Which is effectively what we just made that thing do. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're good. I got ball bearings there, didn't I? All right, well, let's wrap things up. Um, I'm going to go on over here. Uh, before I do any more levels, I'm going to spend spend some runes to upgrade, and then we're going to head into the northern parts of Kaled. So stay tuned, and I'll catch you all next time.